She has a birth defect that retards natural intellectual development. Valerie Maxwell is 18 years old. What would you say is her intellectual age? Equivalent to a child of 12. According to the adaptive behavior scale, her social skills are those of a 10 year old. Could you give us your medical opinion of her decision making ability? She showed no ability to balance pros and cons and apply her own values. Quite simply, she's incapable of making an informed decision to engage in sexual activity. Are you familiar with the term mainstreaming doctor? Yes, in Valerie's case, it's an attempt to integrate someone with a mental disability into what we would consider normal life by having her attend a regular school. But she ate lunch in a room away from the other kids? No, I don't believe she did. They had a special bus come and pick her up every day, did they? No. So I assume the school made her wear some kind of scarlet D for disabled on a dress each day? No, of course not. So if one could see Valerie riding the same bus with all the other kids, eating the same lunches, one could actually think she was just like all the other kids. Isn't that right, doctor? They might until they actually talk to her. I don't think Valerie and these boys were in the music room for conversation. No more questions. Hayden told me to take off my clothes. And what did you do? I laughed. Why did you laugh, Valerie? Oh, because Randy and Roscoe were laughing. Someone must have told a joke. Did you take your clothes off? Yes. And then Randy laid down on top of me and started bouncing. What was he doing? Mm. He went inside me with his penis. And then Hayden and Roscoe, they did it too. Did they do anything else? They gave me a bottle of cream soda. Did you drink it? Yeah. Did they do anything else? Mm. They put it inside me, too. Did they laugh about that, too? Yes. Before they left, did they say anything to you? Mm. They told me I shouldn't say anything to anybody. Sorry. Did you enjoy it, Valerie? Your Honor. Sit down, Mr. McCoy. Answer the question, young lady. Made me feel pretty. When you went into the music room, what were you wearing? Objection. Approach, Your Honor. CPL 6048, the victim's manner of dress is inadmissible. Her awareness of her sexuality and how others perceived her is central to this case. And given the circumstances, Mr. McCoy, it's relevant. I'm giving notice of intent to appeal. Appeal all you want. Step back. What were you wearing, Valerie? Mm, I was... I was wearing a white cut-off T-shirt, you know? Showed off my tummy. I have a flat tummy. And a black mini skirt. That's not what you wore to school, though, is it? Oh, I got changed in the girls' room. My dad makes me wear boring clothes to school. But that's not what boys like. You're curious about boys and sex, aren't you, Valerie? I think about it all the time. What do you do when you think about it? I get excited a lot. I know it was wrong what we did, but we really didn't know she wasn't, you know, normal. How did it come about that you had sex with Valerie Maxwell? 
Well, uh, a friend of ours, Gina, told us that, you know, Valerie wanted to have sex. And once in the music room, did Miss Maxwell object to having sex? <laughs> no, sir. I mean, like I said, she asked us for it. Mm -hmm. So you talked to Valerie prior to having sex with her? Yeah, a little bit. Did you notice that she had any peculiar mannerisms or patterns of speech? <laughs> yeah, sure, but I mean, a lot of kids in her school are dope heads. You know, they all sound kind of goofy. If she was just another girl, why did you instruct her not to tell anybody? Well, because we didn't want to get suspended for having sex in school. First of all, didn't you tell the police that you didn't mind being suspended? Yes. And didn't you tell dozens of people about your other girls? Yeah. So why didn't you want the world to know about this conquest? Is it because you knew that you had crossed the fine line between stud and rapist? No. Did you have a belated attack of shame, Mr. McLaughlin? Were you suddenly sorry that you had taken advantage of a girl you knew was retarded? Objection. Nothing further. Have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. The defendants will please stand. In the matter of the people versus Hayden McLaughlin on the count of rape in the third degree, how do you find? We find the defendant guilty. In the matter of the people versus Randall Baxter on the count of rape in the third degree, how do you find? We find the defendant guilty. And in the matter of the people versus Roscoe Johnson on the count of rape in the third degree, how do you find? We find the defendant guilty. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, you are dismissed. Any motions, Mr. Painter? Excuse me, Your Honor. Does the defense wish to make a motion? CPL 290.10, the defense moves to set aside the jury's verdict. Objection, the prosecution proved its case. What case, Mr. McCoy? Have we gone so far down the road of political correctness that sex between willing partners is now called rape? The girl said yes. She has the mind of a child. Well, she's mature enough to be plenty intrigued by her own sexuality. Face it, Counselor. She had the time of her life. Case dismissed.